Hey guys, Bayby to you here, and well, here we go again. So, yeah, that's cool. Didn't know that happened. What the heck? Um, hold on. That one takes out two of them. That takes out one. That takes out one. That takes out those two. I have that one and that one out, it only takes out that one. But that one, that one out, it only takes out that one. And yeah, that one, that's weird. Alright, whatever. So I don't know if I showed this very well, but that's full of water bottles. That's all that's in there. So, yeah. My iron is still cooking, only a little bit. From the expedition. The underground expedition that I did. Um, I don't know why that's down there. Let's see. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. So yeah, this is how I usually organize everything. I usually have two blocks if I'm getting a surplus of things. I usually have two blocks at the top, and then everything except. Or the very bottom one is the normal thing for the ores anyways and then so like um so like I'll have the blocks up here and then I'll have the ingots down here and then ore at the bottom for emeralds and diamonds however I usually will have it more like um this and then these would be the blocks because you know there's not really a ore that you get usually and then same thing for this blocks and then not blocks let's see what do I, oh yeah I put wood here usually but today we're gonna be using some wood quite a bit actually just barely came and did this because we can actually make two bookshelves so let's go ahead and do that yeah Librarian. We're librarians now. Oh, I ran out. Okay, well nine shouldn't be too bad. What I kind of want to do is I want to just get them far the zombies. I mean, we're gonna finish the zombie farm today. Actually, first we're gonna put down the bookshelf. But uh, yeah, episode seven, guys. I mean, honestly, it's not much of an achievement, but it's somewhere. Oh yeah, I also made myself a place to put those, so yeah, now we have a place to put those. Which is usually what happens when you get somewhere to put them. Yeah, I'm not too collected on my wards right now, but anyways. Oh man, I hope that update comes out soon. 1.8. It's gonna be so less buggy. Not that it's really that buggy right now. Um, done. Done. Oh man, that doesn't work. All right. Done. All right there. Sweet. And then boom. Oh. That's not what I meant to have happen. I meant to do it as the top one has it. But yeah, this is, I don't remember what it's called, but it's commonly used. If you haven't seen one by now, well, now you have. So yeah. Oh, that's okay. Well, anyways, let's see. Boom. Done. Yeah. Let's do some of that. Get this all the way to the top. Hope I'm not digging into anything important. I don't think I am.
Yeah, I'm not. Oh yeah, it's raining, huh? Alright, sweet. I just want to get them out of the 16 by 16 area that they can spawn in. I think it's 16 by 16. Or 16 by 16 by 16. Which is actually really a ton. You know? Oh, you can't climb up that thing. Alright, well. And unfortunately, it is right next to the wheat farm, so. I'm probably going to. Oh, and right next to my horse. Let's, um. Alright, I was like, I know some dirt just disappeared on me. Alright, come on. Okay, there we go. Anyways, we're going to build a little house around them. I have a ton of cobblestone, so we can just do that out of cobblestone. And then we can fight them in that house. And not have to worry about much. And, whoops, I should replace that torch. So, yeah. And then I will actually fight them when I, um, you know, when I, yeah. The only thing that I don't like about Minecraft right now is that you can't move, um, uh, what's it called, um, spawners. Like, you can't pick up spawners with Silk Touch. So the only thing that I really will ever cheat on, most likely, is, like, I will most likely cheat on this is what I'm saying, not, like, like, in this sense, not, like, if I, not, like, yeah, that sounded really guilty, but, yeah, just take my word for it. So basically, the only thing that I would ever do is if I had a silk touch, I would silk touch break a spawner and I would actually catch it on film and then I'd um, place down a like I'd give myself and place down a spawner somewhere and even then I would probably only do it once because well basically what I want to do with this is um, oh actually I should have it come over here a little bit but I kind of want to well basically a lot of this has to do with the um, nether a lot of this like I said in the um, first episode a lot of this is going to be in the nether so yeah basically I'm just gonna fish them or send them into the nether Uh, yeah, so we'll just, oh, I guess we can just dig a few more out. And then we'll make a quaint little room. And by little, I mean pretty big. And again, sorry about the noises. Um, okay, yeah, at nine minutes. I might have to finish this, like, off camera. But, yeah, I'm also going to um, put some torches in it. You know what? We don't actually need most of this. We do need that. And we're going to get rid of that. And that. And that. Put that there. Those two down. Uh, you know what? Let's make it so that I um, get to kind of open it off and then just kind of fight them in the open, you know? So that'd be pretty cool, I think. Let me just uh, do this last little part. Alright, I think I didn't go overtime. 
yeah, I have a little bit of time. So I don't think we can test it out just because it'll take a little bit, a little bit too long. But I, um, yeah, well, maybe I can. Now I'd have to get that torch also. Yeah, it's not happening this episode. Sorry. But yeah, I will, um, I guess I'm going to record one more episode. I was thinking I shouldn't record any more episodes, but I will. I'll record another right after this. So yeah, anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoy. This is Day Bye to You, and I'm signing out.